So now that we've downloaded and installed Python, we can um, try a little program here. Um, before we even start with any of the basic syntax, just show you how to use the website. So if we're here, we're on the website and we're looking at the algebra curriculum, and I'm going to open up uh, how to find a square root, which is one of the solutions that we provide as a computational um, methodology here. So after I open up this program, um, each of the solutions have a little bit of background information about what we're trying to do, um, described here. And then we have the inputs and the outputs of the program. And then below that, we have a flow chart, which kind of describes the logical flow of how the program works. And then finally, we have the source code. The source code is here. Now, I don't expect, uh, this is our just introduction, and we don't expect to know everything about the source code or the flow chart. But just to show you how to use the program, I'm going to cut and paste this code right here, the Python code. Um, and I'm going to put it inside of my program. So uh, let's do that first. I'm going to copy this here copy that and now I'm going to open up my Python editor and that's uh, this is idle which we talked about earlier and once I get into idle I have to create a new window okay I, um, idle opens up in the shell this is the shell the Python shell and I go file new window okay so this is going to be my new program and right here I just have to paste in this code that I've uh, written as a solution so this program here I'm not going to go into the details again it's trying to find the square root of a number in this case I'm going to start with 700 uh, per the flow chart, uh, we started with a guess of 900. It's going to go through, and our margin of error is 0.1, and it's going to just continually do this, and it's going to refine, refine the guess, and refine the guess until the error is very small, less than the margin of error, and then it's going to print our answer, and it's going to print the count, and the count is the number of times that it went through this loop. Um, so, okay, so with that, that in mind, let's go ahead and, and uh, run it. So I'm going to save it first and I control S to save it and we have to give it a name so I'm just gonna call it um, just okay so we save it and then we can run it F5 runs it or you go run down here and you go F5 and let's run the program and we can find that our answer is the square root of 700 is 26.458 and it went through uh, four times to get the answer it went through the loop four times so let's try something different let's just make this a much larger number let's make it Let's try to find the square root of um, 689,700. So again, we got to save it, control S, and then I can run it here. And now I find that the square root is 830, and it took 10 times to go through. So that's just what I want you to be able to do is just to be cut and paste the code, put it into the editor, get comfortable with that, and then just a kind of experiment and try different things. So let's take this, let's do one more experiment here. Let's take our initial guess. And let's make it much closer to, um, I think the answer was 800. So let's make it 700. So our answer, uh, uh, and now let's again, control S to save it. Um, and whoops, let's go run module. And now we get um, that the answer is the same, the square root, but this time it only took three times to go through the loop. And this time it took 10 times to go through the loop here. And it took three times to go through the loop because our initial guess was much closer. So that's all I want you to get comfortable with is that any of these solutions that we have, I want you to be able to cut and paste them, put them into your Python editor, um, play with the inputs, kind of experiment with the inputs, and experiment with the code. It's just a great way to learn. Thank you.